students. Uh, some of you wanted to um, have me kind of show you what happens when it gets real close like this to the end. Well, it's going to get harder and slower. The process will be slower. So you just pick about maybe three or two strings at a time and pulling it just enough to get the string through. And you just keep going. And you know, um, after a while, you're going to have to give it up and you do as tight as you can, going back and forth, picking the strings. See, as you can see, my needle is pick about two or three, four feels okay. Just as long as there's not too much tension and then you gotta be extra careful on the side here too, to make sure that you don't pull too hard to start creating a indent in the sides here. And those are one of the challenges that you're gonna have to learn how to do. And like I said, no matter if it's on the mini loom or if it's on the, um, see you can't really see anymore. Um, and especially my warp string is black, as you can see, because I chose black because I was making this little rug dress design, which is going to be our next assignment, is how to create a rug dress design, which was a traditional dress for the Dine Navajo people before the influence of what we call traditional dress now, which is the modern skirt. As you can see I'm using my tool to kind of help me. And I just use this tool, this dog, this dog grooming tool is really nice. So if you're able to find this, I don't even remember. I don't remember where I got this tool, but it's got to be at a pet store because this is kind of like a pet, a pet grooming tool. And it wasn't that much cost. And so as you can see how it's getting pretty, it's getting pretty um, tight here. And so I'm gonna go and just go up to here now, just to close in the string. Okay, it's getting pretty tight. Pull it like that, don't be afraid. And now I'm going to cut, cut the rest of the remaining strings that are hanging, make it smooth. You can either use <clears throat> your needle here, and you can use it and close up the gap and kind of work down a little bit because you did a tighter weave in this area here. You want to loosen some of that to help in the building of, you just build up. Okay, so that's the tool you use. And you know, I discovered this works great and you just go and and it works more in a big uh more wider capacity and you just build up like this because it's got real it's got sharp edges it kind of is really good whereas the needle you only have one sharp edge and this is just what i do i close it up look at that Nice. And these little ones that are sticking out, just cut them. And so there it is. Okay. There it is. How to close up. And notice I work from the outside inward with both. I started on one side and went up to here. And then I started from here, worked up to here. And then I worked in the middle, closed it up. And that's the rug dress style. So you start on one end 
and then you just lift. There'll be a little bit of tension, so you use the little finger muscles. You can hear it tight, but you just one at a time if you want to. One at a time. See, I'm. Or I can go on this side. Whichever side, if you're right handed, right hand will probably be better for you. And if you put a lot of tension on the warp string, it's going to be kind of, you're going to have to use a little finger muscle and see, there it is. And because I had a little tighter uh, warp, see how naturally it just, it didn't have the little imprints of the, um, of the pegs and then you go to the other side and you just decide you won't have to fight too much because it'll just come right off and there it is and see there's a little bit of the imprint of the um pegs well then you just use your finger and just work it against those little rainbows you see of the warp string and you just keep going and one day I'll have a little prints of the thing goes then you're done and then you just kind of massage it and just kind of let it lay it on a flat surface and just massage it, massage it. Stretch the side. If you feel that the side went in too much, this is a time to kind of massage your rug. You're not always going to have a perfect square while wow, that's part of weaving. And there it is, a little rug dress, a finished product of a little rug dress. And then I do my steaming, so it locks in all my uh, weaving. Go to the other side, and you just clean it. It's a beautiful rug. Thank you. Enjoy. Happy weaving. <laughs>